Initially released in 1998, Banjo-Kazooie has seen worldwide acclaim for its revolutionary 3D platforming and ability to con an entire diehard fanbase that a new game is right around the corner. Just wait until next E3, guys. I'm sure it's coming. While the ILO Hags has many animal characters, we'll be focusing solely on the namesake duo today. Starting with Banjo, it's clear this character is a bear. Of the extant species, Earth has eight species of bear, two we can exclude immediately, the panda and polar bear, due solely to color. That said, the polar bear does actually pose a great reference point towards what species of bear Banjo may actually be. Foggy is another bear character from the series that is clearly based on a polar bear. Polar bears are the largest species of bear on Earth today. So roughly comparing Boggy's size to Banjo, we can see a very notable difference. Brown bears, also known as grizzly bears, certainly match the fur color of Banjo, but on average, grizzlies are about three-fourths the size of a polar bear. Our favorite Ursus hero, on the other hand, doesn't even reach half the size of Boggy. Oh. Since polar bears can stand about nine feet tall, if we only consider bears that reach about four and a half feet in length, we get both the Asiatic and American black bears, the spectacled bear, the sloth bear, and the sun bear. While these bears are usually black, they also do have brown morphs, so primary coloring isn't a problem for any of these. What is an issue, however, is Banjo's stomach. He clearly has a furless or lightly colored chest, and while no bears have an exact match to this, the sun bear and sloth bear do have lighter colored neck patterns which could account for inspiration towards Banjo's shark tooth necklace. Now, according to the Banjo-Kazooie fan wiki, which has never led anybody astray before. They claim Banjo is a honey bear, which is just another name for the sun bear. Honestly, not a bad choice. The eye color matches, the sun bear is the smallest bear species on Earth, it has sleek and non-shaggy hair, but it looks a little too, uh, nightmarish to be Banjo. Uh -huh. I won't deny Banjo takes some inspiration from the sun bear, but I'd also like to look at the sloth bear. The sloth bear has the longest muzzle of any bear species, and considering the schnoz on the funny man, we need all the nose we can get. This species also has fluffy, outgrown hair, which could also account for his luxurious dew. Finally, let's look at nuts and bolts. At the beginning of the game, Banjo and Kazooie both gain... some personality. While this may be a reach, thanks to Smash Ultimate, we know Banjo is certainly a man of religion. Dorime. And to reach the state, the pair would have needed to partake in two of the deadly seven sins, as mentioned by the Christian Bible, gluttony and being a gamer. As such, we can safely say Banjo takes design inspirations from both the sun bear and the sloth bear. As for the other one, Kazooie is said to be a red breagle, a fictional species of bird that is in no way related to the seagull. We again have two different birds that inspire Kazooie, one you've heard of, and one you've most definitely never heard of. Starting with the prior, if you remove the coloring, it's pretty clear Kazooie has the body structure of a greater roadrunner. This can most easily be seen in the Talentrot animation, as her run cycle closely matches that of the running roadrunner. Other physical features, like the tail feathers and the beak, draw a striking resemblance to that of the roadrunner as well, but one notable exception comes with flight. Roadrunners are capable of flying, but only for short bursts. Kazooie, on the other hand, flies for long periods of time. Instead, many of Kazooie's properties can be attributed to another species. Meet the Hotsin, a bizarre bird that can be found in the Amazon rainforest. Immediately, we can see this bird shares the general red and yellow color scheme of Kazooie, and its genus, Opsithocomus, was named after the magnificent crest atop its head. A few fun facts about this bird, it's also known as the skunk bird due to the design of its digestive system. They have a small stomach and gizzard, so food is not easily digested. To account for this, its meal sits in a special organelle before reaching the stomach, producing an extremely foul odor along the way. This process serves a secondary purpose as well. When attacked, it will spew its digesting food at the predator, stun locking them and allowing for an easier escape. This behavior is likely the inspiration for the Breagle Blaster, which is used in Banjo-Tooie. Another interesting thing about the Hotsin deals with its chicks. Hotsins themselves are actually pretty old species of bird. So much so, that hatchlings of the species have freaking leftover dinosaur claws on their wings. When they are trying to learn to fly, they can regularly fall out of the nest. These claws allow them to climb vines, escaping their circumstances. As they age, the claws disappear, but the fact they exist at all is remarkable. 
If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments what other animals you'd like me to cover in the future. Thank you for watching, and continue to explore the Biodiverse. <laughs>